Hello. Over the next few days I'm going to have to cut some round steel pipe to length. Many of these cuts will be at 45 degrees so I may produce a mitre joint when I weld it. The problem that I've had in the past is my previous attempts were not that successful and I had some quite dramatic failures. So thinking about this I thought that what I might do is try a slightly different technique in marking out the tube. And what I've decided to do is to use a spirit level which has a horizontal line laser marker in it. And using that laser marker to set the 45 degree line on the tube. So I'll show you what I've done and we'll see how it cuts. All I've done is I've screwed my spirit level with the laser in it to a short plank of wood and clamped it to my workbench. When it's turned on, I hope you can see the line of the laser and I've put into it some V-blocks that I made, the steel pipe that I want to cut and the laser line is there nice and clear for me to start cutting. Now I'm going to cut with a grinder. Originally I'd started to do it with a hacksaw but it is going to be too difficult to do and I have several to cut. So I'm going to use the angle grinder to do this. I've mounted my little two wooden V-blocks onto the pallet and the pallet is exactly parallel to the workbench. The other thing that I've also done is I've marked on the tube itself two vertical positions. That's going to be quite important when, as you'll see as I start doing the cutting. So I shall get my trusty grinder and start to trusty cut. So I've cut the first half of the pipe. I, I can see inside, I hope you can see as well, you can see the laser line poking through the, the cut. To cut the other side I'm going to have to turn the tube around and this is why I marked the vertical positions. Right, I've turned the laser through 90 degrees so it's aiming the 45 degree line is now in the opposite sense repositioned and squared the pipe in exactly the same position with respect to the first cut so it's vertically beneath the laser line now on the other side and I've checked the squareness with the set square with the tri-square sorry on the two chalk lines so hopefully now when I go in with the angle grinder the cuts should start to coincide so how did I do? Well, for a start it was quite easy to cut. There's a, the end cut here is a little bit sharp, which I've got to grind off. But generally, this is a 45 degree angle. And look at that. It's worked out very well. I'm very pleased with that. So, on to my next ones.